according to federal law, gun manufacturers are exempt from liability of lawsuits. Uh, obviously, they're in the wrong hands. Uh, could be dangerous, as is like automobiles and things like that. Uh, so these are good laws. Well, recently, the federal government has strongly advocated against changing that. More so, specifically, Smith & Wesson is the target because of their sporting rifles. Um, and Smith & Wesson has spent millions of dollars over the last few years just defending themselves. Well, as it turns out, the IRS just armed themselves with thousands of Smith & Wesson ARs. And I just find this incredibly ironic that the same gun, that literally, not just the same gun, but the same manufacturer of that particular gun is a target. They're trying to take those from us while they're arming the administrative branch of the federal government with the exact same thing. It's kind of hypocrisy at its greatest, to be quite honest, because there is no rifle target more than that. But let's go beyond that. If you look at the ammo that they purchased for that rifle, it's all hollow points, all of it. And yet, if we were to use those rounds, uh, you know, we, you know, one, they're trying to take them from us and make them illegal. But in addition, if we did use those rounds in self-defense, we'd probably be tried for some sort of attempted murder. And so, you know, they'd say, well, we knew those were dangerous rounds. We knew those would kill people and cause the most damage. Well, if they say we know that they'll cause the most damage. They clearly know it'll cause the most damage. So we have to begin to open our eyes to this idea because, and, and, and I know I'm preaching to the choir. If you're watching this video, you know, like you are probably in agreement. But I have a lot of people in my life, and you have probably have a lot of people in your life that sit there and say, well, no, you shouldn't have those things because they're so dangerous. Well, then why do they have them? And when it comes to hollow point rounds too, by the way, those aren't intended for foreign use. Those are intended for use domestically against the citizens here. You don't buy Smith & Wesson ARs and load them full with hollow points for any other reason than to cause the most damage to the U.S. citizens that you are sworn to protect and uphold the Constitution. It's, it really is hypocrisy at its greatest and we need to have those conversations. When people say, oh, well, you shouldn't have that rifle, it's too dangerous, or you shouldn't have that ammo, it's too dangerous. Well, of course we have to have it because the administrative branch of the federal government has it and they're clearly intending on using it against us. Any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. I do wanna take a second and say that most people who watch this channel are not subscribers to this channel. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our message getting out. There's a lot of things we're saying on this channel that just simply aren't being said uh, on other and anywhere else. Definitely not in the media, that's for sure. That link is below. But the most important part of the channel, we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God Family Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guts. Thank you.